Hey you guys, this is Mr. Sal. Let's go and solve this absolute value equation. So, the first thing we're going to want to do is to isolate the absolute value as though it were a square root or in parentheses or even if it were an x, right? And if that was negative 7 plus 2x equals 19, what you would do is you would add 7 to both sides. So that's what we're going to do. And this is what we have now because, of course, the negative 7 plus 7 cancels out. That becomes a 0. And now what we're going to want to do is divide both sides by 2. Just be careful on this because some people, their first instinct is to, to distribute the 2 into the absolute value as though it were parentheses. But that is not what we're going to be doing because that can make things a little bit complicated and change uh, how we should solve it. So just be careful doing that, all right? What I recommend doing is dividing by 2, just getting rid of it, and that would leave us with the absolute value of 5x minus 3 equals 13. Now, what this means is if I can get the inside of the parentheses to equal 13, it will come out as a positive 13. If I can get the inside of the absolute value to equal a negative 13, it also will come out as this positive 13. So I'm going to write both of those as separate equations, showing that if I can get 5x minus 3 to be positive 13, then it will come out as a true statement. But if I can get it to be negative 13, also it will come out as a true statement. So I'm going to add 3 to both sides of both equations. And now we got these two new equations. All we need to do to solve these is to divide both sides by 5 in both equations. And that should give us our answer. First one, x equals the 16 fifths. And the second one, x equals negative 2. And of course we know that because the 5's will cancel out in both equations, giving us a coefficient of x which is 1. Now this last thing I'm going to do is not something that most people do, but it's highly recommended not only by, by me, but any teacher you have or have had, and that is to check our answer. So here's the basis of my equation, but I'm going to replace x with, let's start with 16 fifths, just to see how that goes. And if it gives us a true statement, then we'll know it's a good answer. So it's more of a question mark of the equals, right? <clears throat> So working by the order of operations, I've got 5 times 16 fifths, which is 16. And then inside that absolute values, because it works like a parentheses, I'm going to go ahead and do 16 minus 3, which is 13. And remember, that's exactly what we were trying to get uh, when we first started this problem. Uh, not right there, but on this equation right here, right? That's where the 16 fifths came from. So the rest of this should work out pretty good according to uh, what we had planned. The absolute value of 13 is 13. So we got negative 7 plus 2 times 13 equals 19. 2 times 13 is 26. Negative 7 plus 26 does equal 19. That's true. So right now we know that 16 fifths is a correct answer. Let's go and replace that 16 fifths with the negative 2 that we found as well. So that only changes a little bit. Instead of getting a 16 right here, what we'll end up with is a negative 10. Negative 10 minus 3 is negative 13. And the absolute value of negative 13 was what we were trying to get up here. That's going to give us this 13 and everything else remains the same. So that also gives us a true statement. We know x is 2 as well.